Hello everybody, I've got a question to ask you. What were the very first cards that were banned in Magic? In case you haven't researched this question, the answer might actually surprise you. So let's take a look at the timeline of DCI bannings. In January 1994, the original DCI banned and restrict list was formed. These cards that we know as Power 9, of course, were included there, but they were restricted to one copy. In addition to that, some of the less obvious cards were also added as restricted. Orgishuri Flame, Rook Egg, Soul Ring, Icy Manipulator, Time Vault, Dingus Egg, Berserk, Alifram Kyra and Bearing Geyser were also restricted. Many of them were restricted for the power purposes, but also if you think about that, there are some cards that were a little bit problematic in terms of the wording. So, in particular, we have got Rook Egg, and uh, people thought that they would be getting the token if it goes to the graveyard from your hand, for example, if you discard it. The problem with the Orky Shory Flame and Alpha was the misprinted cost of uh, two mana instead of four. So, these were the reasons for bannings. And uh, strictly speaking, not bannings even, but uh, these were just restrictions and uh, the very first banned card in magic was none other than Shahrazad. No, it was no KS Orb, it was not the card that was too powerful but Shahrazad because simply it made the games too long and uh, as a result of that it was the very first card banned in magic along with the anti cards but we're not going to talk about the anti cards here i'm not going to showcase them in this video this will be a separate topic because this is a really special rule set that doesn't really bother us that much nowadays when we talk about organized play in addition to that, it's very important to note that the original idea behind Magic by Richard Garfield was that Magic the Gathering, the Alpha set, was going to be a special game of itself, and uh, these Arabian Nights expansion cards that were very, very carefully introduced later on would actually be banned unless the referee, the judges decide to let the players use them. So, by default, all of these Arabian Nights cards were banned in organized play. The first changes happened in February 1994, with Rook Egg and Orkish Oriflame being unrestricted. They didn't last long, as you can see. The next wave of restrictions came in 1994 in March, and uh, these were the five cards that were restricted. As you can see, these are the cards that were actually printed in revised, and uh, the original Chell and Fileboard combo was not actually restricted in any way until that time. And uh, as you can see, Wheel of Fortune didn't have the same fate as Time Twister. It was always considered a little bit not as powerful for obvious reasons, didn't allow that much recursion. And uh, in the same month, there were also a couple of interesting things. So, Icy Manipulator was unrestricted, and the Time Vault was banned. So, making it probably the very first card that was actually banned for the power reasons, as opposed to organizational reasons, which would be the case of Seherzet, or of course the anti-cards. And uh, Time Vault has a very interesting history, we can look at it later on in another video, because it was subject to many, many power level errata, and uh, there were a lot of different decisions to make it stronger or perhaps uh, weaker. So this was uh, technically the very first card that was being banned for power reasons because, you know, having unlimited turns is a little bit too good, probably. The next wave came in May with Candelabra of Taunus, Ivory Tower, Feldon's Cane and Library of Alexander, the cards from the original expansions, Antiquities and Arabian Nights, respectively were restricted for power level mostly and uh, if we look at Feldon's Cane for example we understand that it probably also made the games a little bit too long and uh, allowed you to just uh, mill your opponent but in a very slow way. However there were two cards that were unrestricted so Gauntlet of Might and uh, Dingus Egg also in the same month. 
June 94 saw only one card being restricted, and that is Mishra's Workshop, the powerhouse of the Atlantic format and some other variations of old school magic, with all of these powerful juggernauts, suchis, and trikes. In August, finally, the dexterity cards were. Still not banned, but restricted, guess what? This is somewhat really counterintuitive, because very often when I talk to some people, they think that these cards were banned right away for organized play, but that wasn't the case until much later, actually. And uh, we might follow up on that to see when these cards were actually unbanned, because today we're only dealing with 93 and 94, specifically 94, as you can understand. So, except for dexterity cards, these cards were banned, recall, Underworld Dreams, which is quite surprising to some people. Sword of the Ages, which can even raise a couple of eyebrows nowadays, because it's not such a powerful card and can easily be gotten rid of, especially because it has got this uh, comes into play tapped clause. And the Mind Twist, again, might be a little bit surprising that it wasn't banned before that. And also Mirror Universe. Another change that came at the same time was the exclusion of those legendary cards from unrestricted list. And uh, this was basically the introduction of the original legendary rule that you couldn't have more than one copy of each of the legends. And it also included legendary permanents such as lands in your deck. And uh, we also got the third banned card, and uh, that was Divine Intervention that made the game result in a draw for this incredibly high mana cost and uh, also, of course, coming here with the timer. But still, you couldn't have a draw. And uh, I think it's quite a practical reason, again, for their organizational purposes. So interestingly enough, the very first cards that were banned in Magic were white, which you wouldn't think. And no, it was not balanced, but these two cards, Shaharazet and Divine Intervention. And um, as we have said, also the uh, Time Walled card was banned as well. Uh, for power reasons. And uh, the final change that came in 1994 was the restriction of Maze of Ith. And uh, there are still some proponents, for example, in Eternal Central Rules, as I know, of um, restricting Mazes of Ith because they think that it makes the game a little bit too slow and uh, favors more the control issue or perhaps combo decks. But um, it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to discuss those interesting decisions when it comes to banned and restricted list of 1994, please comment below. Also, I'm inviting you to take a look at the Patreon page, link in the description, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.